So, hey everyone. Today I've got a very different video for you all. It's Spindle Clutch 1. It's a dungeon in Elder Scrolls Online and I soloed it. Yeah, you heard that right. It's a beginner dungeon and I soloed it just to learn the mechanics. This is what happened and don't worry if I mention anything in the video it's because I record the video first and then I do all this stuff afterwards. So yeah. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you at the end. You also heard that one right too. On your feet, little house. We're going back in. Okay. I need to make sure that there's sound coming through. It's fine, I can't hear it, but maybe you guys can. Um, anyhow. Let's, um... See where this goes. Shall we? Hopefully we can do a no death, but that will depend. This isn't me trying to like cock myself up or anything. You know, make myself all you know big and clever. This is me testing myself. And my build to see how much content I can actually solo. Of course, this I probably would you now saying this twice because um, I don't know what I'm saying in my intro yet. Ha ha ha. Because I have not re recorded my intro yet. Ha ha ha. I usually do that after I know what the hell I've done. Here are my outros. But yes. So I am going to clear out every single mob there is. Let's say XP. Okay. So we take out these lot as well. Oh. The boss is like, yeah, you, you want to kill those in my sight? I'm, I'm, I'm going to get involved. Also just being sent a friend request you probably all just saw that um me and him are going to be working on some other videos to do with housing yeah you heard that right housing he wants me to edit some stuff for him to do with housing He's in a guild called Sublime Housing. So, it's a housing guild, obviously. So that's one boss down. Now just to deal with all these little extras. Take loot, just in case. Okay. So I always check everything. Oh, another lockpick. It's not like I need those. So anything that I get from this will be included with my sticker book if I have not collected it already. I don't know what I've got and what I ha don't, so I'm already we're three minutes in to this dungeon. Three minutes in. Say about four, because in a few seconds it will be four. Yeah. Let's keep moving. Keep moving. So the next boss will be coming out soon. Um, let's just try and get all of these spawns done. Um, as you can kind of see, I'm not pulling out as much damage as I should be but it is a starter dungeon so it doesn't really matter as long as I'm keeping my health up my magicka up everything is fine okay um, I usually will be taking a little bit of a break just to make sure that my magicka is 
refilled. Those bits I will be editing out. Because, hey, standing around waiting for stuff to, you know, magically reappear is not a good way to go. I mean, it's boring. Just standing and waiting for something to happen, which is going to take time. But yeah, um, a bunch of ads. I'm ensuring that the boss doesn't spawn up. As of yet. But this just shows how much it's in soloing content. I mean, I am CP 955 right now. So, boss is gonna climb there. So, this one is part of the, a pledge. When the pledge is for no clutch one, you are told to kill the spawn mother and the Whisperer. So I didn't wait for my stuff to replenish before heading over to this one. I really should have done. Oops. So she will wrap you in like say a web. She will basically do all of this. She will stun you um, if you're not careful. Um, I've just blocked that one but basically I should probably show you the attacks when you're soloing you can actually like say learn the mechanics see where you're going wrong and all of that so right now they're just standing back and watching as I take out everything no wonder they need an outsider's help so as you see she just stunned me so you roll out of the way to get back into the fight, basically. Whatever you do, do not stand in AoEs. Always a no-no. So I've also got the perk where my first roll every 30 seconds um, is free. Which helps a lot when soloing content especially like this um, make sure that you've got a monster helm that is going to help you as well for me I've got my dead rock because well pet socks they need they need as many pets as they can get So the first time I saw this, I died once. This is my second run of it, soloing. Um, and I died at the last boss because I accidentally activated the boss while I was taking out all of the ads. Let's hope that I can learn from my mistake and not do that again. So, we're eight minutes in and the last the first main boss is well you guessed it dead so extra stuff my set has been updated so let's run through oh there's a chest here Yes, guys, I start from left to right, okay? I'm a lefty. Leave me alone. I'm part of that population. Okay. So with dungeons, your sets will instantly be upgraded because it's bound on pickup. Especially since I'm not in a group. So whatever I get will be bound to me. I cannot share it with anyone else. So the door has unlocked. So this way is a dead end, of course. So you want to head south. And instead of spiders now, we've got corrupted people. Corrupted by the Whisperer. If you wanted the story, um, all you got to do is 
ask me if I can do this on well just wait for me to level up some low level tunes um, and I shall try and solo this on characters that have never done dungeons before I've got a bunch of them or even I could per se do this groupedly um, like say have a solo playthrough and then group playthroughs um, where I show you the story this is just me you know upgrading basically finding out what my build can do which is a sork which is apparently one of the most powerful um, solo classes that there are I need to make sure that I've taken out all of the healers which I don't see any of but all the ads I need to take out like now heal up with my clown fur yep, my clown fur is my healer um, but I will say when the companions come out on the 8th for me um, which is like a week um, yeah it won't, won't really be a solo thing but it kind of also will be I mean there'll be two people that'll be me and my companion most likely Miri because Bastion no. Bastion is an Imperial we don't do Imperials here so kill these ads they're just ads anyhow um, I'm gonna bring down my meteor as a healer there there's also a chest there which is nice there's also somebody on a cross and knowing my fiance he will be like degenerates like you belong on a cross which is fallout not the elder scrolls so bosses xp so we take these people down uh, so we free them I'm just going to free them because why not I don't know if there is an achievement to set them all free or not because well I've only ever done this with groups of people who just want to speed run it and that's it's annoying but with this you can take your time you can see and feel everything that is to do with the dungeon so there's another um boss here there he is big ragu or rabu or whatever his name is rabu i don't know why i said the other thing but hey right, i need to not get myself locked in a corner when did lyris get here oh 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 get out so close death experiences if it wasn't for the red screen I wouldn't have noticed so that's why you take out the ads oh has he got stuck there we go he got stuck for a moment you gotta love when your enemies get trapped in wall at least he didn't reset that would have been a huge pain right And then I will show you my set at the end. My set book. So. Of like everything that I've got for this particular dungeon. We're getting close to the end now, as you can see. Pretty close. Okay, so we take out the healers first, of course. 
course, I hit anything and everything that I can until I find the healer. And of course, I've got myself cornered off again. Now, as, since there's no healers to heal them. Oh, God. I need to up my magic a little bit. So there is a lot going on. So. I always have my thing, but I might as well keep my potions there. My health potions at least. So, last little bit. Of course. Um, so, we've got few healers. Three from what I've just seen. Last one. And as you see, there's another person on the cross. At the Whisperer's mercy. And for this, I've got to bring them a little bit at a time. We talk to this guy, set him free, let him just recover a little bit. I think his arm broken. Okay, so what we will do is, so they've just spotted me a little bit. So we get them over here. This is where I died last time because I hit the Whisperer. I cannot see any of the healers, which is a pain. And I've also got to be careful with whom I hit. Because of me having a staff, my things are pretty unpredictable. Which is a bit of a pain. So as you can kind of see, I'm backing up a little bit. If I, I need to reset some of these, I will. You know, by backing up a little bit. I know that once I get into the actual, like, say, arena, arena. Come on. Good lass. So. Oh, and she's coming out now because all of her disciples are, well, dead. She'll stop there until I charge in and do the first attack. Just give me a moment. Let's just go in now. This one will need a lot of roll dodging. Um, a lot of getting out of this. Yeah, there's a lot of... Warning, bright light. I try and stay away from her as much as possible. But of course, she's just going to do that. Stun me, another bright light to get... Yeah, there's a lot of bright light. Let's just say that. That fire is the dead rock. Yeah, this this annoys me. Because she's like, you know what? Yeah, bright light everywhere. I'm like, really? Really? Like, they need to change how much she does that because it bothers me. And I mean, it bothers me. So, and this is going to be like, say, a 25 minute video of, well, me doing this. Plus the intro and the outro, that makes it about 30 minutes at least. Well, at most. Yeah, like, you can't do anything while she flashes you. Like, at all. So we're already 45% of the way there. I'm literally doing this in a Nordic Babers Tell. I should have dodged that because, um, yeah. 
dodged. It was already dodging. I already roll dodged. I should have dodged that. But hey. The game does what the game does. Okay, so that's the last 25% to go. You know what? Since you're bloody lighting me up, I'm gonna light you up. Yeah, this is gonna be like, say, the start of, like, say, a, its own little series. Yeah, I've got a world boss series. I've got now a dungeon series. And she's almost dead. Of course she's going to do one last light me up. And that's it done. So I shall now show you my spindle clutch. I don't have any of the monster helms as of yet. But for this I've got a few little bits for Nightmare. A few little bits for prayer shawl and a few little bits for this one. This is just from me soloing twice. So yeah, I think it's a good little run. But yeah. So guys, as you can see, it took me a little while. That last boss, oh, too much, too much flashing. So, uh, yeah, they need to dull that down a little. So, Blackwood has finally released on the PC. And we've got to wait until the 8th of June. Don't worry, that's just my child in the background. So, um, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing next. So, yep. Yeah, probably more dungeons. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay safe, stay shawl-shriven, and peace out.